Hanya is going to be coming out very soon in Honkai Star Rail. So today I want to go over her kit to see if she's going to be a good character for players to pull if they're summoning on 1.5. Now, since she is a 4 star, I wouldn't recommend players to just pull for her and only her and not you'll want to get the 5 stars, whether it be Argenti or Silverwolf, because it's not really any kind of like guarantee that you will be able to pull her. So it is something that I like to have players keep in mind, just because you don't want to be wasting your jade and accidentally getting a character that you don't want while you're trying to kind of aimlessly get a 4 star, like, even though the 4 star it will, will be you know, very good and could help your account out, it's not the best thing to do to just like chase them on a banner that otherwise you don't really care for. But I do think Hanya is going to be very good, so let's move on into her kit here. I'm going to save her traces for the end because they all deal with you know her burden effect, which we'll get into in her kit. But starting with her basic attack here, pretty self-explanatory just deals physical damage to a single enemy nothing really too crazy there as usual for a basic attack then we have her technique her technique will immediately attack the enemy and after entering battle it'll apply her burden effect equivalent to the skills effect for burden so she does have one of those attacking techniques that is something to keep in mind for when you're using her and if you want to you know apply burden to the enemy which we're going to get into what burden does right here in her you know, her inner skill so her skill deals physical damage to a single target and inflicts them with burden it's cool that it's a guaranteed inflict it's not like an effect hit rate kind of thing so for every two times the that enemy with burden is hit with a basic attack skill or ultimate it will immediately recover one skill point to the team which is really nice and it's only active on the latest target it's applied to, so it works the same way as Topaz's Proof of Debt. So you can only have one Burden target at a time. And once you recover three skill points with Burden, it will be dispelled. So yeah, getting three skill points back is pretty solid, honestly. You know, it does kind of suck that it's only you know applied to one enemy, but I do think if you could apply it to every enemy, it'd be kind of broken in those like three to five enemy fights. So I, I mean, I kind of get it, but. Yeah, this is definitely a very solid effect as well for a Harmony character, being able to get those skill points back, because she is the first character that has a mechanic that'll read that'll generate you know extra skill points for the team. So it is something to keep in mind, especially if you are pulling for you know Imbibitor Lune, or if you have Imbibitor Lune or other like skill point hungry characters. Then her talent, Sanction, when an ally uses a basic uh, attack skill or ultimate on an enemy with burden. The damage dealt increases by a certain number, of, yeah, a certain number of turns. I assume they mean for a certain number of turns, but yeah, getting extra damage increase on the burn enemy is going to be very good because I think in a lot of situations, especially in like MOC and whatnot, you're going to want to apply burden on the elite enemy or the boss enemy, and being able to increase damage done to them is going to be really helpful. So that's going to be really good as well. And then for Anya's ultimate. She increases the speed and attack of a single ally for a certain number of turns. And normally for these kinds of boosts, you know, obviously we won't see the amount of turns that it'll last for until she's actually out in the game. But we do know that, you know, from other characters that have these kind of buffs, it's usually like two or three turns. So that's going to be a pretty solid boost as well. And again, once she's actually in the game, we'll be able to see what those percentages and you know, increases are going to be. So. Just, just from a glance here and just you know knowing what she increases for an ally, this is going to be very good to increase the damage of your main DPS character. And also just being able to give them more skill points is also going to be really helpful. Then lastly, we're going to go over her traces. Now that we know about the burden, because you know going over these without knowing what burden does would probably have been a little weird. But now to go through them for the three major traces. The first one, which is at Ascension 2. Allies that trigger the skill point recovery effect from burden have their attack increased by a certain amount for a certain number of turns. So being able to increase their attack is very cool while you're getting skill points back. So this, this will work very well for DPS characters, so making sure that they uh, they, yeah, they attack you know every other attack on the enemy to be able to give them that attack increase will be very good as well. Then the second major trace, Netherworld at Ascension 4. When you defeat an enemy that has burden, if burden skill point recovery trigger count is at a certain amount, 
then you automatically recover a certain number of skill points, which is really good for those you know multi-wave fights. Yeah, it probably won't be that useful in like single wave kind of fights because a lot of the times you'll have the burden on the main enemy or the elite enemy. So yeah, for those multi-wave fights, especially like Memory of Chaos, this is going to be very useful. And then for the last major trace at Ascension 6, Reanimated, when burn skill point recovery effect is triggered, this character regenerates energy, which is very good. You know, just getting extra energy for uh, Hanya's ultimate is also going to be really helpful as well. Now, all three of these major traces, they do benefit Hanya a lot, which is really nice for the way her kit works. So overall, you know, if you are pulling for Argenti or you are pulling for Silverwolf, Hanya is going to be an amazing pickup. And, you know, for people who get her, that's going to be really good for them. But if you don't want to pull for Argenti and you don't want to pull for Silverwolf, then I do think that with what we have as free-to-play players right now, you should be fine to wait on getting Hanya until she's on the banner that you're more interested in than you know, Argenti and Silverwolf. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you all think about Hanya and if you're excited to pull her if you're pulling on Argenti or Silverwolf's banner. But with that, everyone, I'm going to end it off here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. But with that, I will see you all next time.